Hello everyone, Techie Thiraj here. Today we are going to discuss a problem comes with Docker. I have also discussed one problem earlier in my video. This is a second problem which I faced. So the level of this uh, discussion is intermediate. I am assuming you have already installed Docker in your system. If you have not, please do that first. Uh, I am also assuming you have basic understanding of Docker and Docker commands. If you don't have basic understanding, you can check out the description of this video. I will put up my links of uh, previous videos. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the problem is, uh, problem comes with basically when we mounting the Docker engine socket directory. Okay, so the there are uh, like two key points which I have uh, faced like why we should not uh, mount Docker engines Unix socket directory. Okay, and the worst thing could happen if we mount the Unix socket directory inside a container is that the normal user whoever started the container can turn into root user and can have access of uh, our like complete system because people you know like what root user is right. So let's see this practically. So as you can see, I am a normal user. Name is root dk. If I, if you can see my ID, ID hyphen u is basically thousand. So it's not a root user ID. As root user is zero ID. Okay. So as I can show you what root user ID is zero. As you can see so I'm not root user I'm normal user right so this is a thousand ID okay so let me start one container here I have a listed oh, okay let me start docker run it hyphen p so what I am doing basically is I am mounting my docker dot basically soak directly amounting socket inside a container so at the same path i'm mounting okay so i am i am going to use uh, ubuntu ubuntu image in in this container so let's start it so it started as you can see i'm inside container so this is the docker soak so i did nothing i just mounted my docker socket inside the same path at docker socket so what we can do basically with this is as you can as now i have uh, a docker socket inside this container i have access to this socket basically for the simple terms if i say so if i if i communicate with this socket I am indirectly communicating with the docker engine running on my host uh, not on container as you can see like if I give some rest API some curl command to this socket inside the container if I run the command I will be getting uh, all the informations about the uh, docker from the docker engine running in my host okay I hope that is clear okay so let me uh, okay so what i am going to do here is i'm going to install install docker inside this container so i am going to run a docker container inside docker container so let me just uh, install docker i have command running okay i have command uh, let me just uh, so this will do nothing but it will download the docker and uh, it will install the docker in, in the inside this Ubuntu container image okay let me let it be complete so this is basically a script uh, which is being downloaded to install the docker so currently it's running that script and installing the docker and necessary like all the certificates and 
all basic basic uh, packages needed to run the docker so i think it's almost done yeah it's completed so as you can see docker is now installed on user bin docker okay so what i will do here is i will run another docker inside this docker so what i'm doing here if you see this okay so if you see this uh, whenever we run a docker from a normal user like host with the slash or root is mounted you know inside our container okay so i can take this uh, as an advantage to get the root access from the normal user I, because i ran this command i was normal user right so as you can see here i was normal user so what i will do basically i will i will start another docker container okay saying the ubuntu use ubuntu uh, using the ubuntu image i will install it and i will mount this root directory as you can see slash inside the container on the path of slash host okay so let me just start this as you can see the new container is started the earlier container was this uh, the domain name is this and now it's got changed to this host name sorry host name got changed to five so this is a separate container so if i show you the process is here and if you see this slash host now that same host slash is mounted on slash host as you can see the same information is there okay div uh, okay so okay so what i can do is here is i can root to the slash host okay so for those who don't know what root is so i have uh, get a good definition to explain what root is so here if you see the root basically terms refers to a process of creating a virtualized environment in a linux operating system or unix operating system separating it from the main operating system and directory structure any software program running in this environment can only access files within this own directory tree it cannot access files outside of that directory tree this confined virtual environment is often called a cherut jail okay so if i am going to this uh, directory so as you can as you know like i have uh, mounted my root slash directory to slash host so if i am going to this cherut so i am going to be in that directory structure like indirectly to the slash root directory structure so in the root directory structure as we all know every needed file slash bin slash lib and everything is there so uh, this is a separate uh, user defined directory tree structure okay if i do id here i am root as you can see because i have then the root inside slash host and that slash host is nothing but slash which is root okay so if i going bash if i run bash here like i'm just getting bash uh, shell here so which is which is my host root directory as you can see so this is the problem basically i now i have root access of my system but i ran these all commands docker uh, container commands using my uh, basically using my normal user which was root dk okay as you can see now i am root if i do id here i am root user so i have not given any sudo password or anything till this point so i have just mounted my uh, docker sock inside this and now as you can see i am root user okay so i can uh, have like access of uh, ps processes running as you can know okay so let me show you like see the psa hyphen ef all the processes running inside my host system so i have i can see all those information okay so if i exit from this so there is uh, one thing i want to explain like if i am doing the, so how to basically uh, what we say how to because to get a root access i have to start this docker thing every each and every time so how to prevent that so 
like this kind this uh, kind of technique is called privilege escalation so when a particular user uh, uh, starts a, a like get access of a to of a machine of normal user so like that person can use the privilege escalation technique to get the root shell so with the root shell we can have a like we can get we can access any directory like etc password or etc shadow file to so get the uh, like passwords of a normal user so this is a one of the technique to get the root shell and, uh, and do that privilege escalation okay so what i'm going to do here is uh, 